Iwana Iquana. Iwana Iquana. Karen Kaufman Olive. Illustrated by David Cadwell. I should have Mikey Gulligan's baby iguana when he moves, but he's why I should. If I don't take it, he goes to Stinky and Stinky's dog Lurch will eat it. You don't want that to happen, do you? Sighed your sensitive son, Alex. Dear Alex, I'm glad you're so compassionate. But I doubt that Stinky's mother will let Lurch get into the iguana's cage. Night Rider, Love Mom. <laughs> Dear Mom, did you know that iguanas are really quiet and they are cute too? I think they are much cuter than hamster. Look, your adorable son, Alex. Dear Alex, tarantulas are quiet too, but I wouldn't want one as a pet. By the way, that iguana of Mikey's is uglier than Godzilla. Just thought I mentioned it. Love, Mom. Dear Mom, you would never even have to see the iguana. I'll keep his cage in my room on the dresser next to my soccer trophies. Plus, he is so small, I bet you'll never even know he's there. Love and a zillion and one kisses, Alex. Dear Alex, iguanas can grow to be over six feet long. You won't have enough space in your whole room, much less on your dresser, with or without your trophies. Love, Mom. Dear Mom, it takes 15 years for an iguana to get that big. Mikey told me, I'll be married by then and probably leave it in my old house. Love, you're smart and mature kid, Alex. <laughs> Dear Alex, how are you going to get a girl to marry you when you own a six foot long reptile? Love, your concerned mother. I need a new friend now. This iguana can be the brother I've always wanted. Look, your lonely child, Alex. <laughs> Dear Alex, you have a brother. Love, Mom. He's just a baby. What fun is that? If I had an iguana, I could teach it tricks and things. It then doesn't do tricks. He just burps and poops. Love. Gross out, Alex. <laughs> Dear Alex, how do I know you're ready for a pet? Remember what happens when you took home the glass fish? Love, Mom. Dear mom, if I knew the fish were going to jump into the spaghetti sauce, I never would have taken the cover of the jar. Look, your son who had learned his lesson. B.S. Iguanas don't like spaghetti. Dear 
Alex. Let's say I let you have the equina on a trial basis. What exactly would you do to take care of it? Love, mom. Dear mom, I will feed him every day. He is lettuce, and I will make sure he had enough water, and I will clean his cage when it's got messy. Love, responsible Alex. P.S. What's a trial basis? A trial passive means that, and I see how well you take care of him for a week or two before we decide if you can have him forever. Remember, Stinky and Lurch are waiting. Love, Mom. P.S. If you clean his cage as well as you clean your room, you're in trouble. Dear Mom, I really, really, really try to clean my room and the iguana cage. Also, listen to this. I'll pay for the lettuce with my allowance. I mean, how much can one baby of Kwana eat anyway? Love, Alex, the financial wizard. Are you sure you want to do this, Alex? Yes, mom. I want a Kwana, please. Dear Alex, look on your dresser. Love, Mom. <laughs>